drives an automobile. Uh, it is a big group. My wife and I and our descendants with spouses, 36 people. So uh, we like to travel together. Uh, we've been all over the Western Hemisphere together, in, uh, typically in November. Uh, and it's a, it's a great group. We all love each other. Uh, there is a strong bond. And I learned from my parents that family, Russ, is everything. Family is absolutely the most important thing going. And thank heavens, I've got a beautiful wife who is an outstanding chef. Uh, back in the 60s and 70s, she was a ball chairman type and uh, very active socially and uh, so forth. So it's been a great life. When I was about five years old, I think, my brother and I went to see Bride of Frankenstein with Boris Karloff. Now, in those days, parents didn't pay that much attention to movies. They assumed that all movies were good for kids. Right. I was petrified. We were petrified, my brother and I. And we would, in the middle of the movie, we'd go up and hide in the balcony. And, uh, and then after a few minutes, we'd get our courage up, we'd go back and look at, watch the movie a little bit longer and go back. It was uh, so scary. But anyway, after I had kids, I would uh, put on a coat backwards. And I would, I had a monster mask a Frankenstein mask that I put over, and I would walk stiff-legged like Boris Karloff did. Well, the thing about it is, uh, I wonder now if I had some kind of psychological damage to my kids because they talk about it to this day. They were petrified. We have lots of people with fire in the belly. Uh, let me contrast Houston with almost any other city in America. There's a city north of here uh, that were renamed Nameless that it seemed to me 40 years ago that if you went there and succeeded, they resented your success. In Houston, Texas, in the 65 years that I've been here, we've always applauded success. I don't care whether you came from England or California or wherever you came, you, if you came to Houston and made a success, we all wanted to do business with you. We thought it was great. And <clears throat> the city of Houston has had that fire in the belly and it's had leaders who were willing to go out of their way and go the extra mile. And that's what, why Houston is the city that it is today, six million people. Welcome, has it been a great life? Being 83 is not all bad because everything I buy comes with a lifetime guarantee. <laughs> I never thought I'd say to myself, oh, to be 65 again. Now, that was almost 20 years ago. So uh, it, it's, it's a great life and, uh, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs>